Foley Ball is a new early access physics platformer by Studio Monolith in the same vein as Super Monkey Ball or Marble Blast. What appears to be a simple game about moving your ball from start to finish as quickly as possible has proven to be one of the most refreshing and relaxing experiences I have had playing a game since my childhood. Not only is the game well designed from a mechanical perspective, it places you in a world full of diverse aesthetic appeal and welcoming environments. As always, I'm going to break down the game into its various parts, touching on everything I think makes the game great, and everything I think could use some improvement. I have to say, I absolutely love the artistic direction that Monolith took with this game. Each and every level feels unique and massive without actually overwhelming the player. Every time I entered a new level, I was filled with this sense of scale and a desire to explore. More importantly, every level felt truly different from the last. I have nothing bad to say about this aspect of the game, and I always try to come up with at least one thing to nitpick, so kudos to Monolith for that one. The music in Poly Ball is excellent, and I honestly never got tired of hearing it. Even after an hour of playing, I found myself stopping to listen and appreciate the music. It's a double-edged sword, however, when combined with the slowdown effect that comes from dying. I found myself dying a lot during the second set of levels, and the constant warping of the music became a bit jarring. I appreciate the, the idea behind it, but it did get to a point where I was dying six or more times a minute, and I could no longer enjoy the music because I was too busy listening to the warped sounds of spherical death. There's only one real mechanic in the game, and it's momentum. However, learning all the factors that are used to determine and alter your ball's momentum is no small feat. Everything you do as the player will obviously change the speed of the ball. Turning reduces your forward momentum, and pulling back slows you down. The environment also has a huge impact on your speed, with things like puddles and inclines slowing you down. Jumping has an impact as well, but it feels a bit different, and if I had to pick one thing to complain about, this would be it. While you're moving at high speed, it feels like jumping changes some forward momentum into upward momentum, which makes perfect sense. But when you stand still, you can still jump, and that really kind of breaks that theory apart. Then when you're moving up a hill, jumping seems to allow you to move much faster, as if it isn't the gravity that's slowing you down, but as if the surface you were touching was covered in super glue. Still, it's consistent, and you can certainly master it when you've played enough, so I really can't complain that much. Level design is going to make or break a platform game such as this, but Monolith continues to impress. While still in early access, there are a number of standard story mode levels available, as well as many extra levels. They also include things like races with laps or other types of options, rather than the standard get from A to B as fast as possible, which is great. Overall, there is a great variety available in the game already, and more to come. And as if that weren't enough, the game will still be Steam Workshop enabled, allowing the most masochistic of us to download levels made by other players. However, I give the category an 8 out of 10 simply because of their Volcano World, which was the only area I felt that really seemed repetitive and admittedly a bit punishing in its puzzles. Uh, of course, it might just be post-traumatic stress disorder from going through them all. The thing that amazed me more than anything else about Foley Ball is the sheer quantity of features present in the game, planned or already implemented. Local and network multiplayer with at least a half a dozen game modes, world leaderboards for best times on a level, ghosts to race from other players' times, customization unlocks, collectibles in each level. The game is pulling no punches, and I have to say, I am very pleased with what I have seen so far. Polyball natively has very high replay value if you're any kind of competitive. Between multiplayer modes and world leaderboards on fastest level times, the game has hours of content and plenty of reason to go through it all again and again. Add in the Steam Workshop support, and it really takes it over the top. This is a great game that puzzle and platform enthusiasts will be picking up again and again for a very long time. So by now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, well, should I buy this game? Is it for me? Uh, if you like a game with an interesting physics engine to master, then it, it very well could be. If you loved Super Monkey Ball from back in the GameCube era, I definitely recommend picking this up. And if you like a game with split-screen multiplayer and controller support for those uh, couch co-op parties, this promises to be another gem. However, some of you may not like Foley Ball. 
generally I can say that those of you who won't like it probably aren't watching this review. Nonetheless, if you're not a puzzle or platform gamer, you really aren't going to enjoy this game. Uh, if you're not okay with dying a lot to learn the level, of course I use die loosely, uh, you still might want to steer clear. And if you have trouble identifying with a vaguely spherical object as your protagonist, I can safely say Polyball will not be the game for you. So what is the final verdict? Polyball is already in a great place, and I have to say, it promises to be even greater as time goes on. I honestly believe that it will redefine the standard for this genre, and games in the future will use it as a measuring stick when they shoot to make their own excellent platform puzzle game. I strongly recommend anyone out there who is looking for a new platformer, pick this game up. I really do think that you will be pleased. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to check us out over at KeenGamer.com. Uh, check out our social media links on the screen right now. My name is Ian, and as always, it's been my pleasure.